As you can see, the chickens like to fling their feed all over the place. Uh, so as part of your normal chicken husbandry, <clears throat> one of the things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to, since I don't have bedding down, i got to go in and actually use like a little hand broom to clean up all the chicken poo and the feed that they've slung everywhere. And you want to do that fairly regularly. Also, every day, you're going to see that your water bowl gets feed in it and you've got to take and empty that out and make sure they have fresh water. There's another reason that I'm recording this video and as soon as I find it, that chicken right there, you can kind of see around its butt. Let's see if I can get it to focus. See its butt there has got some dry poo on it. So you have to take and clean that off with a warm dishcloth. Let me tell you why. That's called pasty butt or pastry butt. Pasty butt. And if you leave that on there, that chicken will actually get sick. Because it basically can't go to the bathroom. It's just like a human. If you get clogged up and you can't go to the bathroom, after a couple days you're going to be sick. So that's something you got to watch out for is pasty butt. Again, you're going to use a uh, warm, damp washcloth. What I usually do is I'll take warm water in a syringe that doesn't have a needle on it. And I'll use that to soften it up. And then I'll use a washcloth to remove it. So that's really like the thing you got to watch out for. That's why I don't have bedding in here. I'm still monitoring their poop. And uh, you'll notice that chickens, they eat and they poop a whole lot. <clears throat> and uh, that's just part of it. You just got to keep their pen cleaned out. Um, because basically they fling that feed on the floor because they prefer to peck it like it's on the ground. So they'll fling it out of the food bowl. You're just going to have to consider some as waste and you know they'll waste a lot. But you can't leave that mixed in because you can actually see there's poo mixed in with that. Which means as they're pecking the ground, they're eating poop, dried poop. That can actually cause another disease. It starts with a C. I can't remember what it's called right now. Where they'll get like a bloody stool and that sort of thing. I mentioned it in a previous video, the day one video. Um... So that's the things you're watching for. You're looking for chickens that have dried poop on their vent. Right there. See it? That one's probably not as bad as the other one. So if they're like that, like those two right there, you can see a little bit. That's not really that much. You're looking for something that looks like it's impacted there. Which would basically keep it from coming out type deal. I saw one. Where's he at? What you'll notice is, if you leave that on there, and those chickens can't go to the bathroom, you'll notice after a couple of days, they'll get where they're just restless. They're not really moving much. They're not really eating much, because they're basically clogged up. I mean, that's really what happens. They get clogged up, and then just like humans, what's in your intestine will then make it into your bloodstream that makes them sick. And actually, I do this every time. You will notice the chickens were back in the corner over there. So they're getting out of the light more than they used to. And this is what, day four? Yeah, today's day four. So they're venturing out from the light for short periods of time. Look, back here in the corner. They'll stay back there. They'll get cold. Then they'll run back up here to the light. That's another thing they'll do too. They like zip all over the place. You'll see them here in a minute. See? No. And that's just normal. They're venturing out away from the light. They get cold. They come back up where the light's at. They usually like run very fast. They zip all over the place. <laughs>
much better. Head count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are good. So, I don't clean these out every day, but I do clean them out every two or three days. That will keep your chickens healthier because they have less poop on the floor that they can be trying to eat. You also definitely, like I do clean their water tray every day, but as far as like poop on the floor, I don't do it every day. I only do it maybe every two or three days. When it gets to be, to be looking about like it did, which a lot of that was food they dumped out, just like up there in that corner. But I actually do go in and clean up as much of the poop as I can every couple of days. And again, that will help greatly with your chickens being healthy. Um, again, also you're wanting to look at their butts. Make sure they're not getting pasty butt. Make sure they're all pretty active like they are. And if you have any that get sluggish, or they get pasty butt, um, they're, they're sick. So the way they get sick is by eating poop that's on the floor. Uh, I can't remember. I'll put the name of the... I'll put more information about the disease they can get from eating poop. Of course, they're going to start dirtying up the place as soon as you clean it up. Um, that's just what chickens do. Baby chicks, they eat, they sleep, they poop, and they drink. And that's about it. Anyways, hope you found this interesting. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.